Get ready. Let's get loose, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, get max. Get max. Get max. Get max. Get max. Plus. <laughs> get max. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I want to put that on the What's up, Yens, guys? Welcome back to Fishing PA with Ryan Reed. It is March 2nd, and you guys know what that means. We made it to Musky Max. So Musky Max 2019 starts today. So behind me, I have the beautiful Prince Cape Arena, and I am super pumped about it. And the other thing that I am super pumped about, it is 3 a.m. in the morning, and we are the first ones in line for the Zachary Baker. I couldn't be any more pumped up today. I am super stoked. There's gonna be a tremendous amount of vendors here. And I've been waiting for this for 12 months. And a lot of you guys probably feel the same. So looking forward to today, we're gonna to try to do as much filming as possible. We're gonna to try to talk to some vendors, get some information. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun and we're gonna to try to do our best to show you guys what Muskie Max is all about. This is personally my favorite show in the entire state of Pennsylvania throughout the entire year. The Muskie community is fantastic. It's a small community, it's a close-knit community, and you guys really have an opportunity to come out to these shows, talk to high-end professionals in the sport of muskie fishing, talk to bait makers, you know, talk to guide services, and they have seminars to help you guys learn something new. So here we go. I want to do this intro real quick. We're going to do some video throughout the process. Looking forward to it. Muskie Max 2019. You want to say something? Here we are, sitting here, ready for the Musky Max. Get the Max. There you go. How you feeling, Dan? Good. Good. We're doing any. We're doing good. Any anxiety? Any anxiety? No. None today. None. 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 Feeling anxious. Feeling anxious. We have 40 minutes left. 30 yeah, minutes left. So how, how are you guys feeling after that? Uh, a little wound up. Good. Wound up? How are you feeling? Awesome. Feeling good? 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 <laughs> good? good. <laughs> <laughs> Musky Max. Fight almost broke out. That was interesting. We are 12 minutes away from the Zach Baker. Alright guys, so here's the deal. Zach just came out and handed us all a couple of free bakers. So what do we got here? Fours. We got a couple, a couple of fours. Unbelievable. Look at the glitter. Show that up. Look at that. That is amazing. Pretty awesome stuff. Zach Baker. You guys can't say enough about Zach. Unbelievable individual. Okay, how are we feeling now? Awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's that's, that's awesome. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, I apologize I have to do this from my studio, but I just simply ran out of time at Muskie Max. Now, I want to talk about my general experience walking in the doors at Muskie Max 2019. First and foremost, Zach Baker came out and he gifted us those bakers as kind of showing his appreciation for us being there early. I just thought, again, this was such a special thing for us. You know, we got there super early, not expecting to get a gifted bait but really to get there in line to really purchase the baits we wanted from Zach. However, Zach is such a genuine human being. He's such a nice person. He's really caring. He really cares about his clients and his customers. And really, you know, Zach is just, he's a premier bait maker and a premier fisherman, but he's really one of those guys that 
I look up to and young guys in the sport look up to because he's so ingrained in the musky community and he really does a lot from a musky zing standpoint. You know, he loves the fish, he loves the fishery, and it's just so cool to be able to get out to these shows and look at his baits. And also, I got a little bit of time with Zach and it was just super impressive. I was totally blown away just by the opportunity of talking with him one-on-one. -on -one. You know, Zach's the type of person that he's really geared towards, how are you doing, how is your family? And really, to me, that's just ultra impressive. And it's, you know, really it's that positive nature and just being so kind, you know, that's the type of things that I aspire to be in my life. And it really was just so cool seeing that from Zach during Muskie Mac. So I really just wanna say, Zach, thank you very much for these gifts. And really, it was just such a cool experience and it made it super special for me and for the guys that were up front. And it really kind of made the morning for us. So um, I just want to say thank you. I want to show you guys really quick uh, from a baker standpoint. You know, we got in the door. We got down the hallway. Zach and Steve Gold had a phenomenal setup. They made sure there was a line. There was no pushing. There was no rushing. You could take your time, look at these baits. There was a two bait limit. Thumbs up, Zach and Steve Gold. That was such an awesome experience. And I just want to show you guys the bakers. Uh, starting off with the, the gift from Zach. This is a five inch, I believe that's a walleye pattern, orange belly. And again, the iconic Zach signature. So this was the gifted bait. I targeted two baits. Um, I ended up with the Goldie Perch, which is that hybrid perch and Goldie. This is kind of like if a Goldie and a Perch had a baby with that orange belly. And again, the iconic signature that I love so much. Such a sweet bait. And also I targeted the, the five inch orange belly perch. You can see the orange belly and take a look at that top. Just an amazing paint job. And I was super excited to get a chance at these baits. The other cool thing was on Sunday, Fat AZ. Thank you, Fat AZ, Muddy Creek Fishing Guides. They did this little Chautauqua special. So basically if you came out on Sunday, if you were the first 28 people to buy a hard bait, you had the opportunity at a five inch Goldie. Now, again, this is the five inch Goldie. I went ahead and took advantage of that. I got there early enough. It was just such an awesome thing to walk away from Muskie Max with four bakers. So with that said, the Zachary Baker experience lived up yet again. Super pumped about it. And I couldn't ask for a better start to Muskie Max 2019. Now, really quick, from the Baker booth, I ran straight to Boshad. And I really just wanna say this, Paul, Boshad guys, Thank you all very much for being involved in Muskie Max. That also made this show super special. I've ordered a couple of your baits recently. I was super pumped to see them in person at the show. The other cool thing was the first five customers at the Boshad booth got a gifted bait with their order. I ended up being number five and in the bag along with my four and a halfs was this beauty. This minnow bait, awesome paint job, just beautiful. And the other thing that made this super special, as you guys check out the Boss Shad Bill, other thing that made this super special, Muskie Max 19 written right there on the top of the bait. Unbelievable experience. I was super pumped. From the Boss Shad booth, I immediately went to Dale Wiley's booth. I had a bunch of Wileys that I wanted to buy, and I got every single one of them. So the first 20 minutes at Muskie Max 2019, blew my mind. Fantastic. Actually, it might have been too much awesome, and I'm pretty sure my wallet's upset with me. Completely worth it. These are baits that are hard to get, and they're really, it just made this experience so much more special for me, and I know Dan was pumped up, you know, just to be a part of this as well and a part of the show. So with that said, I want to get back to the show. I want to keep going with this, but I want to take a few minutes to talk about those promotions, talk about Zach, you know, Paul and Boshad, and then Dale Wiley, just awesome bait makers and make Muskie Max so much more special. And I was super appreciative of them being there.
right, guys, we're here at Musky Max 2019. I got Zach Baker here with me. <laughs> Super pumped to be here with Zach. Just wanted to take a couple of minutes and meet Zach and just talk about the importance of Musky's Inc. Yeah, um, I started up uh, New York State Muskie Inc. I think six, seven years ago. Uh, we're doing really well. Our club has actually got our second chapter in New York. Uh, we've gone through. We've done things like raise the size limit, extend the season. Um, you know, it's it's also a lot of friends. Most of the friends I deal with are through Muskie Inc. Some of the best people I've ever met are from Muskie Inc. So I love it. I'm knee deep in it, and it's going to be that way for a while. It's uh. It's the one thing we can do as anglers to help preserve what we have as our sport. You know, so the same passion we put into fishing, we're putting into the club, too. Absolutely. So. Well, what I wanted to do was, I just wanted to, everybody knows Zach and his lures and stuff. Zach is a great person, you know, really involved in the musky community. And guys like me coming into the sport, it's, it's kind of you know, something that, you know, I look up to guys like you know, uh, I'm a normal bum. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fishing bum that found a way to a You are there, but, you know, being involved in the community and doing what you do with muskies in general. You have to. It's important. You have to. It's important. You have to. You know, that's, that's good for you to be involved and it's good for guys like me to look up to you. So, Some of us musky fishing, we're the most passionate people about it. If you, if you ask me to talk about other things in the world, uh, I might not. I might not be as passionate, you know, with these fish. Some inside you just makes you tick, you know. Once you get the first one, you know. For a lot of us, this is our, you know, this is our livelihood. This is our passion. It's our pastime. You know, I'm knee deep in it. And I absolutely love it. Well, Zach, I just want to thank you for doing that. Thank right. you very much. Right, absolute pleasure, guys. Anybody watching? Have a wonderful 2019. Thanks for having me on. Guys, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the vendor list here at Muskie Max as well as the venue. First and foremost, this is the best vendor list that I've ever seen at a Muskie show, hands down, at least in my opinion, for what that's worth. There are a lot of heavy hitters here. We talk about Zachary Baker, we talk about Dale Wiley, we talk about Fat AZ, we talk about a lot of these other vendors like Lungeon and Boss Shad. There's just a tremendous amount of vendors here and a lot of really awesome lure builders. So I'm super pumped about this year's Musky Max. This was such an awesome opportunity again for you guys to get out here and talk to some of these vendors in person. You know, with the Fat AZ stuff, Andy and the Rod Holders and those types of configurations. But there's Stealth Tackle, um, leaders, you know, lots of leaders. There's a lot of opportunities for you guys to check out equipment like bump boards and things like that. Also, there's lots of raffles going on. As you guys can hear behind me, Sean Leopardi is doing another raffle. So again, just an awesome event, an awesome opportunity for you guys to get out here and talk to vendors, lore makers, product makers, apparel makers like Figure Eight, 
you know, just a great venue in general as well. You guys can see behind me here. You can see the entire show. There's a lot of different booths, and it's really just laid out perfect. So I gotta say, I love this venue. There's plenty of space. It's just absolutely perfect. It's everything that I thought Muskie Max could be. So Sean Leopardi, again, you do a fantastic job with this event, with this venue, and everything that's involved with it. I talked to Sean a little earlier. There's a lot of moving parts and pieces that go into these shows, and you guys just need to realize how hard people work to put these together. So awesome job by Sean Leopardi to put this venue together. Absolutely love it. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the show. Little DJ custom action. Hey guys, I'm here with Evan Shaw's from Shaw's Bank Company. We just want to spend a few minutes and talk about his banks. So we uh, came out here with Muskie Max 2019, brought some uh, meatballs, some miners, some small balls. Um, we're pretty good here. Really appreciate you guys coming out and checking out our banks. Um, so a couple things about the different sizes. The meatballs are four and a half inch uh, resin crankbait. Uh, runs between shallow to about 15 feet deep uh, get up to seven miles an hour on them uh, all kinds of different colors We've done really well on the shad base lakes with them the miner is a little bit bigger it's a nine inch bait uh, do pretty good between uh, seven to ten foot down about 17 to 25 foot back uh, same deal solid resin bait uh, really holds up good and hope you guys can come out and get some more baits from I just gotta say, I absolutely love your paint jobs. I love the profile of your baits with the meatballs to the miners. Really good stuff. And I'm really excited about getting that meatball in the water. So. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. You guys need to check out Evan Shaw's. Take a look at these baits. They catch fish. Hey, have you heard that muskies like eating meatballs? Well, they do if Evan Shaw's is making them. I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. This is Evan Shaw's meatball. This is in that glitter perch pattern. Such a cool profile on this bait. I can't wait to see how it runs. Super excited about this color. Evan does a great job with his paint jobs. I love the bills on these and I love the eyes too. Just such a cool little package for spring. I'm super pumped about running it. So guys, go out there and again, check out Evan Shaw's on Facebook. Take a look for his meatballs. Muskies love them. I'm here with Mark King at Musky Max 2019 with Keystone King Musky Lures. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to give Mark a few minutes to kind of talk about his baits. These glide baits are fantastic. They're well crafted and they catch fish. So Mark, maybe you can just answer a couple of questions I have regarding the baits. Sure. So first and foremost, what, what type of glide baits do you offer? I offer two sizes of my glide baits. The Senior, which is five ounces, and the junior, which is 4.1 ounces. The difference is the senior has the bigger tail. It's wider than the junior. They're all made out of African mahogany. I also offer and rise baits, which are made out of cedar. Awesome, awesome. So I, I originally saw your baits on YouTube. It was SP Fishing, Matt. So I've noticed that they catch a lot of fish. What, what are your favorite colors? And really, how do you gauge what to use on any given body of water? My favorite color 
is probably the clown. Uh, I usually throw it no matter if the water's clear or dark. It's just my personal favorite. I also have a, uh, a liking to the fluorescent bluegill. This was my favorite color last year. It caught the 46 and a half from West Branch. West Branch, awesome. Yes. Okay, so where can we find your baits at? Where can we, how can we get a hold of you? Well, get if you you're not going to be at Muskie Max here in the next couple hours, <laughs> you can uh, message me on Facebook under Keystone King Muskie Lures. All right, sounds good. Well, I appreciate you doing this. Thank Anytime, you very much. Thank you. You guys need to check these baits out. Like I said, they catch fish. All right, guys, just real quick before we get back to the show, I wanted to show you this. This is one of the baits that I picked up, and this is that Mark King glider that we just talked about. Now, one other thing I want to mention, when I do these clips with vendors, you know, I try to make sure that I use their products. And if I don't use their products, I want to start using their products. And Mark is one of those where I just didn't have an opportunity to pick one of these up yet. And this was really his first time at Muskie Max as a vendor. So this was a great opportunity to talk to him, see some product that I didn't see, and really kind of commit to using a bait like this this year. Now, again, if you guys watch YouTube, Mark King's Glide Baits, they catch a tremendous amount of fish. And SB Fishing, who I watch faithfully, uses these on different bodies of water, river systems, lake systems, and he has caught fish with these glide baits. So it's definitely worth checking these out. Just awesome construction, awesome paint job. I really do like the rubber tail here, good hook sizes, and just a solid bait. So, so again, check out Mark King. You guys won't be disappointed. Guys, before we get back to the show, I just want to talk about the seminars. The seminars were absolutely fantastic. The first seminar that I sat down for was Spencer Berman, and he did a session on reading fish boat side. Now, this was really interesting. He talked about using the right gear and figure eighting correctly. Spencer always does a great job kind of communicating information, and I really enjoyed that part of the show. All right, the second session was by Greg Thomas, and he talked about success in big fish. Now, Greg talked about vertical jigging, bondies, and he talked about trolling. And there were a lot of really good tips that Greg talked about. In one part, he had talked about taking a bait whenever you guys have a cold front and those fish are kind of nipping at baits. He talked about extending the hook with split rings and extending that back hook with basically wire which was kind of a new idea for me and it was just really good recommendations really good information for beginners so greg again does a great job and i really enjoyed that part of the show okay guys the last seminar on saturday was by brian clark from captain chaos now brian really focused on lore selection and brian being kind of a local guy to i would say northwestern pennsylvania he fishes chautauqua a lot but he also fishes on Erie and he fishes some of the PA lakes that are here close by in Western PA. So really Brian's opinion and that information that he provided was really useful to me because he kind of talked to us from that Western PA angler side. Brian's a pretty good speaker. He's pretty straightforward. You know, he gets right to the information. I really like that 
part of the show, and I really liked listening to Brian, again, kind of offering you some really good information on lore selection. Now, on Sunday, I went back to the show, and they had a really exciting opportunity for you guys to kind of go there and sit and ask questions directly to a panel of six guides. Now, this was epic, in my opinion, because you could ask them anything you wanted in that hour time frame, whether that was, hey, what's your top lures? Or, hey, what's your top recommendation for new anglers? Or, you know, how do you troll? How do you cast? What do you do? When do you do it? You know, that sort of thing. And there was just a lot of really good questions. Now, Tony Grant did a great job playing moderator. And it was really cool hearing from guides like Jason Quintano, Vance Kalos, Ken Trail, Spencer Berman, Greg Thomas, and Brian Clark. You know, these are, again, guys that are at the top of their game. They're doing it every day. They're professionals in the industry, and they catch a tremendous amount of fish. So I just want to make sure I mention that. You know, the seminars are a huge part of any outdoor show, and they are a huge part of Muskie Max. So awesome opportunity for you guys to learn something new. Let's get back to the show. Hey, guys. I'm here at Muskie Max with Paul from Angry Monkey Lures. Just want to spend a few minutes talking about these baits. They're fantastic products and they catch Keep talking. <laughs> and they catch a lot of different species of fish, including muskie. So Paul, you just want to kind of give a rundown of your new baits? Yeah, this is uh, new for this year. I call it the ox head. It has a heck of a head shake when you control uh, with it. You can reach about 12 foot depth, 50 feet of line out. And this, this is the first year I've had these out with a new foil pattern on it. Also, it's complete wire through, five odd hooks. And if you need to adjust any way you want to use a lure, you just take the front here, bend it left to right with pliers. It'll change the direction and the motion. And also on the bottom, the belly wire, if you want to move that left to right. If you're not getting any hits on it, you can change the motion of the lure, the way it goes side to side. But it has a lot of heavy roll on it, and it brings a lot of action, vertical line on those fish. It seems to attract them, and they come in and investigate the lure. That's awesome, awesome stuff. So that's the new product line. I want to talk about the stuff from last year, because this, these are the, these are the lures that I had initially purchased, and these are the lures that I've caught fish on. So I just want to point this out. Uh, these colors are fantastic. Some of the the one that I have here is very similar to the perch pattern. Yeah, I sold out of that one this year. Sold out. So these lures again, I caught personally one of the biggest bass that I've caught on this particular lure. But I've seen a lot of pictures, musky, pike, multi-species on these types of lures. So just kind of wanted to do a quick few minutes to show people these products. I really like these lures. I think the action is fantastic. Even the shine off the bill. Yeah, that this. gives it. Yeah, if you can check us out on YouTube, we have video of these running up to three miles an hour. The bill gives off a good shine, good action. Yeah. And that's I really love that about these baits. So I wanted to showcase them. So you guys go out to YouTube, go out and do a Google search. How do we? Yeah, just it? Angry Monkey Lures, and uh, we have the Oxid on there, and we also have Dislocated Minnow on there. You can check out the videos. All right, guys, check these lures out. Again, they catch fish. Appreciate it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Help yourself. Hey guys, I'm here at Muskie Max at the Three Rivers Chapter Muskie's Inc. And what we wanted to do, we wanted to talk a little bit about Muskie's Inc., talk about the tournament schedule and upcoming events, things like that, so that you guys are aware of what the club is doing and really the importance of Muskie's Inc. and why this group is so important and the contribution to the sport of muskie fishing that we actually make. So with that said, I have Joel here and I have Will. We just want to talk a little bit more about the club and what we have going on. Um, thank you for uh, doing the video, Ryan. You know, we did one last year. It felt very successful. Uh, a lot of people talked about it. Uh, I'm just going to cover a few of the basic things we're doing this year. Uh, we actually do a few other things outside the, the musky fishing uh, for the state of PA. Uh, we do a veterans uh, fishing events uh, where we reach out to the Butler VA. Um, we take veterans out fishing. Uh, we do a kickoff in April of every year. Uh, the last, I believe it's the last Sunday, it's 28th this year, uh, where a few of the uh, members of the club take people out in their own boats and we actually get rental boats from the uh, rental station at Lake Arthur. They donate them to us 
to take out veterans from the hospital fishing. Uh, basic fishing, you know, this isn't a musky fishing event. We take them out. Uh, they use live bait. They catch bluegill, bass, catfish, kind of whatever goes on. And this is just a therapy for the guys, and they really love it. And we've been a part of it for now the last three years. Uh, Jim Burr uh, set this up with us, and he's actually done it uh, for probably about the last six years. But he got the club involved with it, and it's it's, it's really expanded, and uh, you know everything's doing pretty good. Uh, and one last thing that uh, we just actually got done with last weekend, uh, we did a minnow fund raffle. What that included was we took uh, donations from certain members of the club, outside the club, we got wars. We put them on Facebook and uh, did a raffle with unlimited spots at $5 a spot. We were able to raise $1,555 uh, that's going to be used to purchase minnows for the Linesville Hatchery this year. Now this is on top of a grant we got through Muskie's Inc for an additional $1,500. $3,000 worth of minnows this year. Uh, I don't know the current price of minnows, but I'm gonna say that's gonna buy us eight to 900 pounds of minnows and have them transported here. Uh, we work with Jared Sayers at the Lineville Hatchery. Uh, he lets us know when he wants the minnows. Uh, they order them, the bill comes to us, we, we pay the bill and uh, Jared, pretty much shows us, you know, takes videos of the minnows being put in. So this isn't a direct donation to the Fish Commission. We buy them and have them sent there. Uh, but we've done this over the years. Last year we were able to raise about $4,000 worth and we spent every penny. Uh, this year we're looking to spend about the same, you know, amount of money. Uh, it's going to be a little bit less, but uh, any money that we can spend for the minnows helps the helps the fishing. Uh, the stock fish that are going to be put in in June this year will probably average 14 inches. Uh, very good chance of survival. Uh, and basically that's, you know, that's our purpose, you know, is to make the musky fishing better. Uh, like I said, if you want to get in touch with us, like I said, via one of our, uh, you know, social media platforms is the best. Really, all I have. Uh, I'm going to let Will, who is our tournament director, talk about our tournaments uh, for this year. Uh, yeah, our 2019 tournament uh, schedule for Three Rivers Muskies Inc. There's six tournaments this year. Um, there is the Ohio River plus the Pittsburgh Pool. There's the Pomatuning Reservoir, Chautauqua Lake, Allegheny River, hey, Lake Arthur, and Monongahela. Well, first off, um, I want to remind we added our new tournament these. this year, the Ohio this River plus Pittsburgh Pool, calendar. which Last is from minute. the BA State Line on the Ohio River to the underside of the locks and dams, of the last Maybe lock and dam on the Monongahela the River and the Allegheny in. River. So we're Stop excited up. to continue now. to grow our tournaments, and uh, we hope to see everybody the out there. Come on out and uh, have fun. See you on the water. The Cannon Mac football team is here to help. They list these guys. All right, guys, you guys need to get out here, and check out Three Rivers Rocks. Chapter and Muskie Zinc, and Muskie Zinc in general. Do a lot of good things for the fisheries, and really, this is an organization that fights for the muskie and the muskie fishermen. So go out there, as Joel mentioned, hit the social media pages, check out the clubs in your local area, and be a part of a great organization that really focuses on conservation for a fish that we love in the muskie. All right, guys, Musky Max, we're at the tail end of the weekend. But if you guys know anything about these outdoor shows, in particular, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, show season for me is always about the Fat AZ booth. So the, this is where we're at. We're in front of the Fat AZ booth. We've got Raptors and we've got Vans here. And really just want to take a few minutes to talk about their products, maybe just whatever you want to mention about the baits. Absolutely. Musky Max, man, it's always a heavy hitter. Uh, we're pretty picked clean here, but I can just go over the baits that we have left on uh, what we love throwing in Pennsylvania and on, of course, Chautauqua Lake where we got. Um, our 8-inch Raptor is probably our staple. This is what people would consider a dive and rise, but the way that they're engineered on why we love them so much is they get down with these and they stay down with these. So when I have a newbie out or even a veteran, 
Um, and they're sword fighting with this, you know, new equipment, and they're just getting their cadence down, and getting comfortable with it. I know that this bait is still getting in that zone, you know, and that's what it's all about: is keeping that bait in that zone so that the fish can see it for a little bit longer. These bad boys will get down around six to eight feet, uh, and we love them for weed edges and over new weed growth. We got tens. We had some PK painted ones this year. These things will hit bottom at 10 to 11 feet. Um, more of a slow pull, great for the fall. Um, we also do a glider, uh, it's your standard walk the dog action. People love these in the streams and rivers around here. Um, that you need to, uh, that, that you have to have the most patience uh, when you're using this thing. And, Andy loves them. I'm more of a jerk thing guy. Love the feel. <laughs> we got sixes. Here's our tens. And then of course these paddle tails. It's a swim bait. You can straight retrieve them. You can jig them, and I, my favorite, I, I make these personally, these glitters. <laughs> I can't paint, but I can do the glitters just fine. Uh, and we have a lot of success. Uh, great for great for rivers, great for the lakes, great for weed edges. Um, we just love, love those things. So thanks for listening. Anybody that came out, thanks for coming out. This is such a fun show. Um, and if, if you're not here, you're missing out. It's just a great community and a lot of heavy hitters here. So check it out. Absolutely. So you guys check out Muddy Creek Fishing Guides. Check out Fat AZ Musky Products. Check out the Fat AZ Musky Podcast, which I am a huge fan of. Thank you. <laughs> you can check those out. Great group of guys. Great fishermen. Awesome show, Musky Max 2019. So thank you very hey, much. I appreciate it. My man. It. Thank you. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys liked my experience at Musky Max. Musky Max 2019 was such an awesome event. It was such a cool thing to be a part of. You know, Sean Leopardi, you did a fantastic job from the venue to managing all the moving parts and pieces. The vendors, they were all heavy hitters. It was such a cool vendor list this year. Also, there was plenty of opportunities for us to learn new things with the seminars. And we had an awesome opportunity to get out there, talk to guides, talk to professionals, talk to bait makers, and really just be immersed in the musky community for two days. So I can't say enough about Musky Max 2019. It was just such a cool experience. It was very, very special to me this year. And you know, I've learned a lot over the last couple of years and I've really learned that the Musky community is so small and it's so close knit and it just makes these shows in Western Pennsylvania, again, such a special thing. I talked to Jason over at Nittany uh, Musky Zinc at their booth and you know, we were kind of talking about my channel, my content, and I was, super surprised at how many people came up to me about the channel and some of the videos I've done. Um, for all of you that came up and shook my hand or gave me a shout or came up and talked to me, thank you guys all very much for watching. I just, it was such a cool thing. Um, I didn't think that many of you guys out there were watching and it, it was just so cool to be a part of that. You know, I had Tom, uh, he dropped me off a decal during the show. You know, we had guys from Eastern PA come out, um, guys like Brady and Jason. Um, you know, it, it's just, it, it got me thinking, you know, work hard at what you love. I love the sport of fishing. I love muskies. I want to continue to learn and get better. And I want to put out good content because this is fun for me. I love fishing. I love Pennsylvania. And I really just have a healthy appreciation for conservation outdoors. You know, I was grew up, I grew up and I was born to love fishing. So, you know, those are the kinds of things I wanted to leave you guys with. Um, it, just this show was just such a cool thing and I, I can't stop talking positively about it. So uh, for all of those of you that talked to me, gave me some, some good feedback, you know, some things to work on, um, all of that stuff is greatly appreciated. And I'm looking forward to continue to do this, putting out videos doing lake breakdowns, trying to do some more collabs, getting out there on the water, learning as much as I can so I can continue to develop as a fisherman and be as good as some of you guys out there in Western PA. You guys, check out Musky Max next year if you haven't had the opportunity. You know, get involved Musky Zinc, get involved in the community, be a part of something awesome, and really support Fish and Boat because it's an important group and they do a tremendous amount for you guys as fishermen. So with that said, I just want to wish everybody tight lines, and we will see you next time.